So, it's been five months since I did a Funko Pop unboxing. So, yep, yeah, uh, if some of y'all didn't know, yes, Funko actually made Christmas ornaments. And I got this from Walmart, because, yes, it's a Walmart exclusive. It is the Peacemaker one. Uh, you can see, um, back, side, side, front. Um, what's really weird, it doesn't, like, have the window, like the... Pop Finals does, but this is a Christmas ornament. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what he looks like out of the box. In 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys. Here is Peacemaker out of his box. And this is actually my third unboxing of a Peacemaker Pop Final. And yes, I know Christmas was just last week, and that's why I want to unbox this, because uh, this will be for February's, um, February's unboxing, and that will be it. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, but I'm sorry if I am mispronouncing February. I'm a little tired, but anyway, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Whew. Hey guys, I am back with another unboxing video. Now, yes, this unboxing was supposed to be out yesterday, but I had to delay it because, well, it was arriving late. So, yeah. Um, but yes, I did bought this from Mikari about four days ago, and... I'm surprised the seller was selling it for $5. If some of y'all want to know what it is, it's actually from the My Little Pony movie, the one that released back in 2017. And it's a plushie. That's actually, well, actually, it was exclusive to Walmart, but you don't buy, but you can't buy these anymore. So let's go ahead and get it out of the bag and see which one I got. Okay, guys. Check it out. So, this is actually the Walmart exclusive My Little Pony, the movie Pinkie Pie plush. Uh, sadly, no tag. Guys, the tag said My if I had a tag right now, it said My it would say My Little Pony, the movie exclusive, exclusively at Walmart. So, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing my words. I just woke up not that long ago. So, yeah, uh, I got Pinkie Pie. Now, yes, I got a familiar plush like this. I think it was, I think it's Twilight Sparkle, which I probably, probably might show in the video at some point. But, anyway, guys, this plush is going to get a 100 out of a 100. The unboxing and review is going to get a 100 out of a 100. Anyway, guys, hope hope you guys, I hope, so sorry, can't correct my words right now. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, just for the record, I did two early February unboxings. The Peacemaker Pop Final Ornament from Walmart. And the Walmart exclusive Pinkie Pie plush I bought from Mikari last week that I unboxed two days ago. Uh, those two were for an early February unboxing. So is this one. Uh, I also bought this one last week. Uh, Tuesday of last week. About... Six days ago, like I said, like I said, and it was Tuesday of last week. So anyway, it's another My Little Pony plush, and I think 
This one's gonna be Fluttershy. I'm not for sure. Let's go ahead and get her out of the bag, shall we? In three, two, one. Yep, it's Fluttershy. Um, let's go ahead and get her out of the bubble wrap. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Wow. Really amazing. Uh, what's really cool, um, it's like the Rainbow Dash tag I had from the last year's unboxing, which I don't know where I put it, but let's go ahead and get the tag of Fluttershy and see what she looks like without the tag on in 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys, so here is Fluttershy without the tag on, and yes, I forgot to mention this is made by Toy Factory. So, anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Also, guys, before I end the video, I forgot to mention, uh, I already got done with Jerry January's unboxing. I'm sorry if, um... If I told you this now, because I forgot to mention this last week. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, I am back with another unboxing video. And yes, this is for February. Um, I pick up Braun Breaker at Walmart. Uh, I was surprised. They have, they had him. They also had Brock Lesnar, Reggie, Nikki Cross, yep, the Hurricane Ripoff, and Damian Priest. And let's go ahead. Well, okay, hold on, wait a minute. They have, they have her there, but nobody really picks up Nikki. A S H, which is literally Nikki Cross. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get Braun Breaker out of the package and see what he looks like. Okay, guys, here he is out of the packaging. Uh, he is really cool. He's the two-time NXT champion, the son of Rick. Steiner and the nephew of Scott Steiner and he got the little Goldberg tattoo but anyway guys this unboxing is going to get a hundred out of a hundred I hope you guys like comment subscribe okay guys first unboxing for February I already filmed the last four unboxings from last month so, anyway, guys, um, but yes, uh, we just hit 570 subscribers right now. So, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see who we got. In three, two, one. So, we got the EST of WWE, Bianca Bell, Eric, um, from basic series 141. So yep, yeah, got her in my collection now. I really need LA Knight. Yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and get out of the box and do the review, shall we? In three, two, one. Okay, guys. So you know oh how the packaging said it has new articulation. So here's what they update for the Divas articulation. The wrist. The legs are still the same. The wrist still the same. Elbows. And look at this. Now. Um, if I can. There we go. This might take a while. So hold on. Okay, got the EST's hair in her hand. And yes, she is from Tennessee. 
And this unboxing and review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, about a month ago, I told you guys about the Pinkie Pie plush I reviewed and unboxed. That is a Walmart exclusive. Well, here is the Rainbow Dash one. And yes, I Got the tag, finally. Uh, here's the front, side, side. Looks cool and cute. And it's a Walmart exclusive, which y'all already know. Um, and the tail is so, like, fabric, too. Um, yep, uh... I might not use this in a plush video, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I'll let you guys know some points, but let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what she looks like without the tag on. In 3, 2, 1. Alrighty guys, this plush review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, just letting you guys know, yes, um, I did a review, a plushie review, yesterday, and, uh, well, I was going to review this yesterday, but, um, I never did. So, if y'all are not familiar with Rainbow Friends, I think this is a game on Roblox, because last time I played Roblox, which was a month ago, I haven't played it ever since. So yeah, uh, this was made by Fat Mojo, the same people that used to do the Bendy and the Ink Machines, Plushies, the Doki Doki Lit Literature Club, um, that Star Butterfly plush from Star vs. the Forces of Evil, and yeah. So, what's really weird about this plushie... He's wearing a crown. And his name is Blue. Not Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Just the color Blue. And let's go ahead and take the tag off, shall we? Okay, guys. So here's Blue without his tag. And every single time I look at the face, this one, I, right here, Kinda reminds me of Faggy a little bit from Haspen Hotel. But anyway, guys, this plush review is gonna get a hundred out of a hundred. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So I was gonna do an unwrapping uh, uh Happy Meal toy unwrapping yesterday, but I forgot to do it. Well mostly last night. So, this is the 2014 uh, My Little Pony Toy 2 Pinkie Pie Rainbow Power figurine. Uh, if some of y'all are not familiar with the Rainbow Power, for example, Pinkie Pie has blonde in her hair a little bit, and Fluttershy got blue in her hair, too, so... Yeah, and yes, these toys released about, like, 10 years ago in 2014, and I can't believe I'm reviewing this and unwrapping this, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get her out of the bag and see what she looks like at out of the bag, and yeah, she comes with stickers, too, so, yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get her out of the bag. Okay, guys, here is Pinkie Pie, Pinkie Pie. I'm sorry, I'm still a little tired, but anyway, here is Pinkie Pie out of her bag, and I did not put the stickers on, so yeah, and this unwrapping video will be, like, unwrapping review will be 100 out of 100, so yes, I am putting this in the unboxings, like, for the unboxing compilation for February, uh, I need to finish up with part one, and then I'll go edit part two. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, I am back with another review. 
video and happy Tuesday. So yes, I'm going to do a Ben 10 video in this one and the next one I'm going to do Wrath. And yes, this is from McDonald's. And these toys were released back in 2011. So we got Ultimate Humongousaur. Um, so yes, I know some of y'all are bored with the WWE, My Little Pony, anime, me talking about video games and movies, and Mortal Kombat stuff in my videos. So why not do Ben 10? Because, well, this was my first Ben 10 toy from McDonald's because this was promoting the toys on Cartoon Network, and they're really cool. And this review is going to get a 100 out of a 100. And the title of the video is called to McDonald's Happy Meal Toy, Toy One, Ultimate Humongousaur Figure Review. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, we already reviewed Humongousaur in the last video, so... We got Wrath. So, to be honest, I thought I was going to get the whole set and I had to unwrap Humongousaur, but I don't have to because I just got the second toy in the mail yesterday. So, anyway, here he is in the bag. You can tell it's from Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. Uh, this is Toy 2 Wrath. He reminds me of, uh, of a tiger combined... Wolverine. Again, it's been years since since I watched the show on Cartoon Network. So yeah, let's go ahead and get them out of the bag. In 3, 2, 1. Okay guys, so here is Wrath out of his bag. And to be honest, these toys are just action figures. Again, they don't have a gimmick to them like a normal Happy Meal toy would. So Wrath has one, two, three articulations, just like Humongousaur does. And this unwrapping is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.